guys, welcome to Tech to Geek. Today I'll be doing an exclusive unboxing and review of the newly released EVGA GTX 670 from NVIDIA. So first, uh, a little bit about this card. So this card is the second tier gaming card below the GTX 680. And so the really cool thing about this card is it's basically a slightly reduced GTX 680. With this card you're getting the identical memory interface, identical VRM, and essentially the same PCB, but NVIDIA, in this case, decided to reduce the size substantially to cut down on material costs. But um, it's the same GPU used in GTX 680, just, just with a few cores disabled. And the main reason for that is uh, the GTX 680 with its uh, 1536 CUDA cores, um, the 28 nanometer process makes that a bit difficult to get perfect. So the ones that aren't perfect, those, the cores that are messed up are simply disabled and then they put them into GTX 670s. And they're perfectly working cores, um, but they just have a few less CUDA cores. So, um, effectively, this has um, 1,344 CUDA cores, uh, which comes down to around 762 Fermi CUDA core equivalents. So this is much more powerful than a GTX 580 alone would be. And really, the, the only performance difference between this card and an EVGA GTX 680 is around four to five FPS. And since this card here is much more available currently, this is by far a better buy and, um, at least for the moment, the best performing card uh, in some benchmarks. This card in SLI is also very impressive. So now let's take a look at what's in the box and how EVJ has packaged their GTX 670. So now for the unboxing. So uh, when we look at the box here, you can tell that um, EVGA packages this just like uh, a lot of their other video cards. Uh, so you, know, you have the name on the front, the big EVGA logo, a bit of a generic GTX 670 um, you know, logo there, but uh, NVIDIA has been pretty stiff with their marketing uh, logos and such, so they're really pushing to get that green 670 and GTX on every box so they can really build a brand around that. And GTX has been around for a while, but NVIDIA is just really pushing it now. Uh, the entire box, you know, covered in cellophane, not quite as nice as the Apple super clear cellophane, but it's still um, mostly intact. And uh, so on the front, there's just the EVGA logo. Uh, on the sides, there's just some information about EVGA. On the back, there's just some game uh, information here. Features the card, a different look at the card, and then also a verification area here. And then you can see the ports in the back as well, and then there's still GTX 670. And uh, on this side here, this is just, these are requirements uh, of this card, and along with um, some other warranty information there. And then on the bottom, it just has all of EVGA's little logos. So, um, let's bust this thing open. So, I'm going to carefully open this, since in the future I plan to actually resell this. And uh, one interesting thing is EVGA is now uh, they're packaging everything in large, um, clear plastic packaging, so you can actually verify that all the serials are correct before you even open the card. So, I'm going to carefully get this open here, preserving everything so I can sell this card on overclock.net. By the way, if you guys have some free time, Drop by overclock.net. It's a great uh, online PC modding and uh, just a great all, all around great PC form. If you're into PC gaming, building PCs, anything like that, it's a really great site. Uh, great information there. Their their, their news section is actually much faster than even that of uh, you know Wired or any other online blog. Great community, great site. Definitely check it out. So I'm just about to get this open here. That. And right here it says, warning, do not return to customer store. Return to EVGA if something is wrong. And I bought this directly from EVGA, so I don't believe that should be an issue. So, here comes the card itself. You can see there are a few other things included. So, box, there's that. There, um, and there are the, the blue warnings there. So, done with this. And then, as usual, EVGA includes their gaming poster. 
So, nothing new there. Not really sure. I, I have seven of these laying around all over the place. Several of them, at least. And we'll look at this a little later. Uh, now, here we have a uh, DVI to VGA adapter. I really have no idea why you'd be using one of these if you're using a GTX 670. And this, if I, for a GPU of that caliber, it makes no sense why you'd even consider doing that. Um, so, play adapter there. Uh, and then we have two Molex to 6 pin adapters. If you're still using Molex power and graphics cards, buy a power supply. Um, yeah, it's probably hard to see these since they're in some uh, anti static bags. I'm not going to open these again for uh, resale purposes. And um, what else is here? So we have a uh, sort of quick start guide here. So UVGA, ports on the back, and a basic installation guide. That's it. There is uh, you know, the, the usual warning, how to provide power, and notice that you could burn your hands on this card if it gets hot enough. And uh, the maximum temp on this card uh, listed on NVIDIA.com is actually 95 Celsius. Uh, and then there is the user guide, in case you ever actually plan to do that. And uh, there's nothing really, this is all more like warranty stuff, hardware installation, quick start. So this is kind of a bit of everything. Um, but do that. Uh, we have a driver CD and these really nice uh, aluminum case badges. Definitely download the latest drivers. These will be updating like crazy within the next few months. Uh, and uh, really the reason that the GTX 70 for now has been performing in certain areas better than the 680 is because um, since there's more demand for these cards currently, there's actually been more driver development. So the drivers for the 670 are better than the 680 drivers currently. And then they're the EVGA enthusiast built stickers, which I guess if you really want to put that on your case, go for it. But uh, yeah. And what we've all been waiting for is the GeForce GTX 670 itself. And you can see it's in this massive plastic thing. So I'm going to point it towards you guys. Carefully remove the card here, which is actually stuck in here. Alright. That's the card itself. Alright. I'm just going to take this off since there's no real way to use the card if this is on. I mean, I'm going to leave this on here because I don't really plan to use that stuff cooler. Okay, so this is the card itself. You can see right here we have the SLI fingers. So there is a capability for one or two or three way SLI, not four way SLI. Uh, then there are two six pin power connectors here. Uh, and on the back, you can notice that this looks a little different, right? Uh, the PCB itself is actually only six and a half inches long, it's very, very short. Um, and NVIDIA did that again to save material costs, keep the cost of this card down. And on the back here we have a, a DVI-I, or a DVI-D here, a DVI-I, a full, a full size HDMI, and then a DisplayPort 1.2 port here. And th that is pretty much the GTX 670 guys, so thanks for watching, definitely rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, thanks guys.